Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we'll be solving the problem lead code 14, longest common prefix. So let's get started. The problem is that they give you a list of strings and they ask you to return the longest common prefix and the LCP is a substring that is common to all elements of a given list of string. For example, if we have this input list of string, the longest common prefix is AP. So to solve this problem, there are two techniques that we can use. The first one is called the vertical scanning algorithm and the second one is the horizontal scanning algorithm. Let's start with the first technique, vertical scanning. And let's say we have this list of strings. So this technique works by iterating throughout the characters of the first string, and for each character, it iterates throughout the other string and compares the current character of the first string with the corresponding character of all other string. And if at any point a character does not match, the loop stop and return the substring of the first element that matched until that point. So we're gonna use two nested loops the first is gonna iterate throughout the flower string and the nested loop gonna iterate throughout all the other elements of the input list flow and flight so we compare the first character f to the first character of flow and also flight so the first common character is f we move to the next character l we check if the other string have the same character l and so on once we hit the case where the characters are not the same we return the current common substring which is the longest common prefix which is in this example is FL. The second technique is the horizontal scanning and the horizontal scanning algorithm are different from the vertical scanning technique. It's because we are comparing word and not only characters. So let's say we have the same input list of string. So we're gonna compare the string flower to flow. If the string are not matching we remove the last character and we repeat the comparison again until they match or the prefix is empty we return empty string and we don't need to check the other characters. So in this example we're gonna move to the next character and we repeat the same process until we find the longest common prefix. So the difference is that the horizontal scanning method is faster when it's come to scanning a large number of words and the vertical scanning is faster when we try to scan a small number of words. That's it guys so let's jump at coding the two solutions. The vertical solution start by initializing a prefix variable and assign his value to be an empty string. Then we set two nested loop to implement the horizontal scanning technique. The outer loop iterate draw all of the characters in the first element of the input list and the inner loop iterate over all the other string of the input list and for each iteration we check if the current character of the inner loop element is outside of its range we compare the current character of the first string to the character of the other string if all the character matches the loop move to the next character and repeat the same process so once the character does not match we stop the loop and we return the prefix The time complexity for the solution is O of S, where S is the sum of all the character and all the strings. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space inside the memory. So for the horizontal solution, we start by initializing a prefix variable and assign its value to be the first string of the input list. Then we set a for loop that loops over the other element of the input list. And for each iteration, we compare the current string to the prefix, which is the first string of the input list. By using slice and notation, that return the current string from the first character to the length of the of the word prefix and we check if the slice is not similar to the prefix we we'll eliminate the final character of the prefix string and we repeat the comparison until they match or the prefix is empty finally we return the prefix So the time complexity for the solution is O of S, where S is the sum of all characters and all the string. And for the space complexity is O of 1, because there is no extra space memory used. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.